This is an introductory guide to using Hypothesis. Your lecturer will be using Hypothesis to support learning activities, and it is important that you understand how to install the application and become familiar with annotation. Hypothesis is a web annotation tool. It allows you to make notes on any web-based resource, to retrieve and add to those notes, share notes with your peers, and create discussions about resources. The application can create communities for learners that are only accessible to those with an invitation. Your first step, though, is to create an account. Let's look at that now. Go to the Hypothesis homepage. The address is currently on your screen. Once the page has loaded, click on Create Account and sign up for a free account. You can use your student email address for your account or a personal address. This is purely your choice. When you set an appropriate username, consider that you'll be identifiable to both the lecturer and your peers in the learning community. Your first name only, family name, or both would be fine as a username. Finish this step by setting a password, and then use the links to review the privacy policy, the terms of service, and the community guidelines before signing up. You'll receive a confirmation email to the address that you entered with instructions about activating your account. Once your account has been activated, go back to the Hypothesis landing page and click on Get Started. Scroll down and you'll see Add Hypothesis to your browser. Instructions for Chrome, Firefox and Safari can be found here. By completing this step, you can start using Hypothesis to annotate resources. For these tutorials, I'll be using the Chrome extension. Following the link from Add Extension on the Hypothesis site, I just click on Add in Chrome to activate. Now that Hypothesis is set up in your browser, you're ready to annotate, which is the focus of our second tutorial.